A GOP official from Kentucky has been arrested for indecent exposure in Tennessee and also resisting arrest. David Naramore is his name, and apparently an employee from the Belk department store contacted police when Naramore rubbed his foot while sitting in the bathroom stall next to him and then proceeded to expose his genitals. Well, let's hold. Okay. So, I, I didn't know this is how folks rolled. So, this, like, I imagine this is the same thing Larry Craig did, the Republican senator. Yes. I remembered right. Larry Craig during this story. So the wide stance. He said, "No, no, okay. no, I'm not rubbing his I'm not playing footsie. I have a wide stance." And it went into his stall. So they're they're doing it with the feet, no, right? No, I mean, he's not on the ground like rubbing his foot. I finally <laughs> look, life is full of dots, right? And it is your job to connect those dots. So dot number 1, Republicans think that you can't allow transgendered individuals to use the bathroom that they identify with because uh. of sexual assault. Dot number 2, there's a number of GOP officials and politicians who have gotten caught doing questionable things in men's bathrooms. Oh, I get it, connect the dots. Since they do crazy stuff like this, they think that people like bathrooms are just like breeding grounds for sexual assault. Like I look, by the way, I don't know if connecting the dot there really makes all that much sense because it's not like there's a ton of cases with Republican Ooh, men doing this. But these it's are just, only the guys who got caught. Because it doesn't even <laughs> look, it doesn't even cross my mind to do anything of that nature ever in a bathroom or anywhere. But no, no, I think you're really onto it, Hannah. Like to to me, I'm like, why would a trans person assault you in a bathroom? Why does that make any sense? Like it so never weird. even occurred to me. But but a lot of these guys are going into bathrooms and feeling guys up underneath the stall. <laughs> so then they think like, if I do it, look, of course trans are going to do it. And remember, they're at a minimum bisexual here, and so. Yeah. So they think, oh, I guess other people in the spectrum would do like I would. No, but they're not closeted. They don't hate themselves. They don't need to go assault people in a bathroom. No, but they can live freely. You you don't live free, and you're like, oh my God, what if somebody catches me being gay? So I'm gonna grab onto a dude's foot in the middle of the bathroom. No, this is insane. It's insane. It's so incredibly ballsy. No what? pun intended, right? Because we're talking in both the Larry Craig story and this story, we're talking about people in individual bathroom stalls, and then we're talking about one person being the aggressor without even seeing that other individual's face, right? That's, and the exposing of the genitals, I don't even know how that happened. I don't Did know he do how it over the top? Did he do it under the bottom? Did he sling it around? Don't, 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 don't know. <laughs> Don't want to know. It just happened. So at that point, um, you know, the the employee called the authorities and managed to keep um, Naramore, uh, you know, subdued. restrained, subdued until the authorities show up. Then the authorities show up and he's resisting arrest, and so uh, they end up tasing him. The taser did not work, and at that point, the cop punched him in the face to subdue him, and that didn't work. And then several other cops had to get involved just to restrain him. And so he ended up getting arrested, and he will face charges, but it's crazy. He served as a member of the state executive committee of the state's Republican Party in Kentucky, as well as the Letcher Council or County Chairman. So he is involved in politics, GOP politics in his state. It's just crazy how this story all went down. <laughs> so. When black folks resist, they are said to be resisting arrest. Mm -hmm. These thugs, you know, why don't you just listen to the cops? When the cops come, you know what you do? You just get surrender. That's what you do. You just listen to their orders. This guy, they're tasting him. He's like, what abs? They punch him in the face. He's like, no, I don't think so. So then they got to tackle him to the ground. Look, if he, if these guys weren't giant hypocrites, it would be a sad story. It would be about how this guy is. Desperately looking for love in all the wrong places. Yeah, I mean, and no, I mean, look, literally, there's that part of it. But also, this isn't about a guy, a, a Republican guy, who's making moves on another man. This is also someone who did something that's clearly illegal. He exposed his genitals to a complete stranger. You can't do that. That's indecent exposure. So, yeah, so that's actual indecent exposure. You know, just whipping your dick out. You can't do that. So. Next time you hear Republicans talking about, oh my God, we can't have any gay rights at all, and worried about what's happening in the bathrooms.
think like, wait, why are they worried about what's happening in the bathrooms? I don't know how many of these guys are out there, but for God's sake, get out of the closet. Live as a free person. It's supposed to be a free country. You'll be shocked at how much you love it. That way you could actually expose your genitals to people who want to see them. Right. As opposed to random dudes in bathrooms like, hey, look at this, surprise. Oh. Support independent media. Come join us at the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.